It's Rosette from Twinning It. Hope you get catchy, you start saying it. So right now I'm in my kitchen. I am ready to um, cook dinner. Well, at least start dinner. Um, I'm gonna do something simple. I'm gonna do a chicken tender. Uh, so I already have my chicken out, thawing out. And then I'm just gonna slice her up a bit. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is um, I wash my hands, but just for you guys, I'm gonna wash them again. Plus, you should be washing your hands extra. This bottle, I just keep refilling with soap. I have a big bug, I just keep on refilling it. has two trash cans it has one for recycling and then also one for regular trash oh, I should. I hope I hope I'm in frame right now okay so I'm just gonna pour this water out And then I still like to wrench it off anyways. It's been sitting there thawing out, so. So I like to just cut them up like so. I know these are gross. You shouldn't. I don't know. People are probably gonna come for me for this. But you know what? It was on sale, and I don't use it all the time. And I make sure it's clean. And the reason why I'm making chicken tenders is actually something super easy and simple to do. So that's why I'm making it. Um, and plus it's a kid friendly meal. It never goes wrong with this. I'll probably just show you guys how I make my chicken tenders and everything else I'm just gonna, you know. So that's all cut up and I'll be back with the seasonings. Let me wash my hands because I don't wanna touch my phone and then. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-E-W-X-Y-N-Z and a few other times. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm only gonna use these ingredients and uh, to season my meat up. So, let's, so it's seasoning salt. Put it in this bowl. Flip it over a bit. I know my sister wanted me to do makeup tutorials, but you know what? I'm just not in, uh, inspired to do that. Uh, too much going on in my mind. Too much going on in the world, you know? So. I mean, she wasn't forcing me. She just said, put content out there. See what you can do. So hopefully you guys liked the little video blog with me walking my, my puppy. My one-year-old Milo. 
him training. And I'm putting an onion. I don't know if I, I mean, yeah, and garlic powder. And I like my stuff seasoned. And then onion. And then I'm gonna let it sit because I want it to soak and like season up, you know, get deep into the meat. I'll be back. All right, and I'm back, and I'm gonna show you how I make, cause I'm making the, um, making crunchy tenders. So I'm gonna use this. We couldn't find any flour, so we had to buy flour from the gas station. Got it all over. So I'm going to show you how I season up my, I might just need just that bit. The milk portion. So I just use all the seasonings that I use for my chicken. It's been sitting for a while. I did some other things. I had to get it. Like mine's really seasoned. Not salty, just seasoned. That's seasoning salt. This is onion. Just a couple shakes of that couple shakes of the garlic powder. A dash of pepper. Do a couple shakes and this is what your mix should look like. I season everything. So this is the milk batter. So that is the onion. And I use all the same items, but I'm using a little bit less. So black pepper. Trust me, it's not gonna be salty, it's gonna be good. And a dash of pepper. We'll be right back with my milk. And milk. And then a fork. Then you're gonna grab a fork, mix it up. You want it like a consistency of pancakes mix. I'm running low on milk. I think we got. I hope we have milk. They haven't shut our um, state down yet, so if I run out of milk. Maybe I can get milk tomorrow. So my kid's been eating cereal. Messiah is just starting to like cereal, so. When he used to go to his grandma's house, because she would take him to school, I guess she would make him hot stuff. That's what he would tell me. Like, I don't know, pancakes, eggs, or bacon, or something like that. And I'm like, oh. Then I had him the full, uh, well, he would go over, I would drop him off there so she could take him to, uh, to school, because his uncle worked at his school. Now he goes to another school, so. Like, I don't eat cereal. I'm like, oh, you bougie. I don't cook every morning. I'll make you something like oatmeal or something hot. So this is what the consistency I want. Okay. And then I'm going to run it to my sink. Dip it in that water. Okay. All right, I'm back. So I'm taking the meat. Oh, uh, you know what? It's gonna be meat dip flour, paper towel. So like I said, this is really messy. That's why I don't do this all the time, but I know this is something that my kids will eat. So, that they will enjoy. And my oil's getting pretty hot. I'm just mixing it up, just like so. Put some stuff in the rat right now. Oh, maybe I should take you guys with me. Sorry, that's my messy kitchen. 
I'm a jumper and I'm a screamer, so. Oh, I didn't scream, yay! There's so many cords over here. I have my ring light going. My soft box. Let me turn her a little bit. <gasps> oh, I almost dropped her. Okay. That would have been so sad. My hands get so yucky when I do it. That's okay. And why am I using a paper towel to do this? Because I don't want flour all over the kitchen floor. I just want to stay as clean as possible. Because when I'm at home, I try to clean the house. almost looking the color that I would like. I went on and finished um, flowering up the rest of the batter. And um, I clean, I like to try to um, clean as I go. So I wash, there's like, that red pot is in there still. I'm gonna clean that right now. But, um, and I wash my hands and now I'm just hot and thirsty. So. Let me show you what it's looking like so far. It's the color it's looking like right now. Like that. And I want them to be like more like a golden brown. Um, sorry my face is shiny. It's because I washed my face really good. I put all my creams on, so I'm just shining like a mo. But that's all right. Trying to get my skin right, breaking out so much here and here. It's the stress. It's the stress of everything. This virus, work, everything. <laughs> so. Alrighty, and I'll be back when they're fully the color that I want you guys to see. I put the lid on it um, so it'll work, but it'll look better. I don't know why I'm doing this. My dabbing, dab nation. All right, it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. So I flipped them over and we'll be back. Well, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, I'm back and it's brown. You know what? Let me turn this light on. Sorry, I had to turn the soft box lock. Soft box light on. So I get light in here. So this is the color I kind of want them to be, this brownish, goldish brown. And I put a paper towel down um, to catch all the extra oil.
all day, all I've been hearing is the uh, jets over my head. It's crazy. Kind of scaring me. I'm like home by myself. Thank goodness I have Milo here to keep me sane. I mean, he's doing nothing but sleep, you know. But um, I just like wondering what's going on, what's going to happen next, you know. So these are what my chicken tent home homemade chicken tenders look like. I'm gonna go ahead and fry up the rest. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, something different from, you know, beauty and makeup and you know, unboxing and things like that. Um, so these are my tenders and they look beautiful to me. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give us a huge thumbs up. If you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe uh, to the channel and be a part of our TW squad. All right, join the family. Until next time.